What up, no? Welcome to Top Three. Um, my name is Chris Eddins. It's not not that important, but you know, my co-host here is the man, the myth, the legend, Leonard Smith Jr. I mean, what doesn't the fucking guy do? Stand-up comedian, actor, improviser. You can catch this nigga at UCB with myself. Every second <laughs> Friday of the month, um, you can catch him at home cooking, Pasadena. You can catch him at carpool comedy. I mean, god damn, this motherfucker keeps working. You go see his spots, Uber One commercials, as <laughs> any big sporting event. Jesus Christ, I could go all day, but I'm going to let the man have the stage. Yeah, yeah. First <laughs> of all, you are important. You are. Christopher Eddins, this man, University of Michigan alum, former athlete. Writer, writer on Kill the Orange Bear. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Close. The Orange Face Bear. There we go. Kill the Orange Face Bear. <laughs> Neon. Crapopolis. This man is out here killing it. You can see him every second Friday at <laughs> with Lemon Pepper Wet, all yeah. flat. We recently, we got a new show. We did it for the first time mm-hmm. with our guest, Diversity Hire. Yeah. Y'all might know him from Modern Family. A you know, Nolan Gould. What's up, Nolan? Hey, little show. Hello, little hello. Big deal. Yeah. <laughs> it, was a, it was a great time. Uh, we, honestly, we crushed it. I mean, like, uh, I'm feeling uh, self conscious over here. You guys had such a, like good intros for each other. And then, meanwhile, I'm sitting over here, like, huh, what do I do? <laughs> Nigga, everybody's here watching you. <laughs> no, we're not going to have that. We're not going to have that right now. We're not going to have that. The only reason the people of- clicked on this fucking thing if they watched it was because you, you were in it. Shut uh, up. Sure. The amount of people that have seen your face is insane. The amount of women that have seen your face while I was having sex with them. Is insane. <laughs> How, it, what's like a good, what's a number range of women um, that have seen my face while you're having sex with them? While having, that have seen your face while I was having sex with them, at least seven. <laughs> At least I don't know why your face seven. is so funny, but it's at least <laughs> seven. <laughs> it's like you didn't even seven. really believe it. it was, you know what's funny is that, you know, the uh, uh, good on this topic, the universe really just be out here in the world. Because I was just scrolling through uh, Instagram the other day, as one does, and it was a BuzzFeed list of um, top 30 or something. What They do weird numbers like 27 or some shit yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. Well, of, uh, they, 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 until they, they run out. Yeah. Until they run out. Yeah. It's so Keep scrolling. scrolling. They don't round up. <laughs> These it was, ads. It was like top 27, like 90s, um, early thousands uh, child stars like, and like how they look now. And it was Manny was on the thing. And I yeah. was like, this is funny. I was like, look at this. I was like, the serendipitous. Click on the link. Your face is on there too. Wait, wait, was it? Did it? Did they put us as nineties and two thousands? Nineties and and thousands. And I think they were just every kid you could think of. Like, what do they look like now? <laughs> it's like, like, have you ever watched a kid on TV? Because they did thirty years. They basically they like who is, who is an adult? Who yeah. has who has made it past twenty? That yeah. is like <laughs> they were like, hey, no matter how old you are, you want to feel old? Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, I fucking feel old now, yeah, and I know Jonathan, I'm not supposed yeah, to. People but. don't need to be comparing you to Jonathan Lip Nicky. Like, <laughs> Uh, Jonathan's a buddy of mine. That's disrespectful. (laughs) That's a whole ass grown man. (laughs) (laughs) I don't. I don't need to be on the same list as Macaulay Culkin, man. We're we're different eras. Look, his brother is slowly surpassing him, and because with the quote alone of. Ooh, he got famous and couldn't handle it. Boo hoo! I was like, "That's some brother shit to say, dog." Oh, I was dude. like, "Your your brother famously became a whole ass addict, and <laughs> you went, oh, he couldn't handle being rich." Boo <laughs> fucking who? <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, I was like "He's man. really his character in real life." S- sibling rivalry is really less fun when it gets like super high stakes like that. Me and my brother did that a lot growing up because we're both like geniuses, like in the technical term. But like I test, so I test and I went in and got like an IQ score. I'm not trying to like flex right now. This is for like the point that I'm making. I'm not trying to flex. Um, I'm just stating a fact, yeah, yeah. which makes it that, more of a well, flex. This, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. I, so like I hit like 150, and this motherfucker goes in there and gets 151. And so like we're both geniuses, <laughs> How, but he he's like older, lightly, younger? he's older. How many he's years? uh two years older okay, than me. So this is very. This is I a feel rivalry. like yeah, like, yeah. It's like even less than two. I think it's like uh 16 months or something. It's like Irish, Irish, Irish twins basically yeah, I, I um, think that um 151 is so specifically petty like <laughs> yeah, if it's, yeah. if it's <laughs> any more if it's like three it's like oh yeah he just did he better just, he just but is like smarter. one is like he was like nah yeah yeah i know the right answer fuck was that it shit. tough being, <laughs> was it tough being that smart and having to play a dumb kid <laughs> God, 
I, you know, I don't even like, I don't know anymore. It, like, I think it made me dumb. Like, I don't think like I'm not, I will never retest because I'm pretty sure I'd hit like, I don't know, like, like 120 at this point. Like, I think I'd drop from having played that character, but I think it's funny that, like your brother be like, well, I got 151 and be like, Bro, I'm on a national television. Show. That, that, that shit happened too. It was like I have three Emmys. <laughs> <laughs> it was like not not Cal fun. Em. Yeah, we're just we're. I think we're just now like at a point where we can hang and like talk about things uh, without like the like r- sibling rivalry to like a ridiculous degree. Okay, that's so yeah, that's good. That's great. That's always growth is good. We love growth. You yeah. know, just um, like um, I think uh, smart people have to play dumb. Just the same way that like uh, comedic actors can do drama, but drama can't necessarily do comedy. I mean, yeah. it's more of that. It's the same logic. So you shouldn't feel any type of way about that. I think smart people, like a dumb person playing a dumb person, it won't come across as dumb. It'll just be like, this nigga can't act. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, you don't know how scripts work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. We, we, so this, is, this show is, is still in the process of growing and becoming what it is. And I think we decided in our last episode, this is episode five, um, uh, we're going to do, I mean, I probably shouldn't have named the episode because we could have decided what order we would have put the episodes in, but it don't matter. Uh, what is your top three French fries? <laughs> no. The what is your top three Ooh. way of prepping a potato? Top three ways. <laughs> this thing is yes, top okay. three. Oh, okay. Your top three ways of prepping a potato. Top three ways of. Prepping. Or having okay. not you prepping, but having a for instance, having it prepped for mashed me. potatoes. Yeah, fries. Fries. Uh, number three, like TGI Friday is like loaded potato skins. Ooh, that's Ooh. a good one. Potato skins. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. I was waiting for somebody to drop that one. Um, oh. Number two, this might be number one, but I'm gonna go with like McDonald's hash brown. That's See, a nice crisp. One. I don't like a, a loop. Nice I don't one. like the the skillet hash brown. No, me neither. The, the top. The hot, I, don't I like, that. like a very or home specific, fries with yeah. the cut up potatoes. Okay. Very specific hash brown. Like if it's not crispy on the outside, get that shit get out of my it. face, bro. Yeah. I don't yeah. want. I don't, I, don't, I don't want no <laughs> limp, limp potatoes. The yeah. fuck out of here! <laughs> you know how fucking insulting a fucking soggy hash brown is. Yeah. I want to flip the fucking plate over. <laughs> I was like, get the fuck out of my. The head. only time I'm close to accept it is Waffle House. Like, cause I'm putting okay. yeah, a bunch but of shit in there. You at Waffle House for another yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, if you're if you're at Waffle House three, I'm like your life's not. You don't <laughs> yeah, deserve yeah, yeah. the crispy <laughs> hash browns. All right, and what's number one? Uh, God, this might get me in trouble, but number one's gonna be um, waffle fries from um, Chick Fil A. Yeah, yeah, it's a great one. It's a great yeah, one. Yeah. It's a great I mean, one. They're, they're, the fries are delicious. We can't deny yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. look, I separate the thing. From the people, okay. <laughs> you're, you're separating art from artists. You have to. You have to. People who say you can't are lying. It's impossible, bro. I only go to Chick Fil A on Sunday. <laughs> um, look, no, look, we no. have representation here, okay? Jack was just in here, lesbian. I support LGBTQ plus, yeah. okay, but them fries is but I get fire. I get hungry, man. <laughs> fries is fire, <laughs> yeah. and they quick and efficient. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I can't tell no, you like how it. many gay men I know who shamefully go to Chick Fil A, like <laughs> with like big sunglasses on, like hoodie over their. Is head, it like... shamefully? You know how many things I fucking buy where I'm like, they hate black people. They for sure have said nigger before. <laughs> <laughs> but guess what? <laughs> when <laughs> chicken <laughs> hit, nigga. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> which product? Can, like, what are your top three products that you buy from? B- People that you know definitely anything. Uh, Coca Cola, my iPhone, <laughs> my say, iPhone. Adidas, uh, and Pumas. Pop, Papa John's ESPN, started by Nazis. Uh, yeah, Papa yeah. John's. I hate Papa John's. It's okay. garbage. Papa John's is good, bro. Papa John's is garbage. Papa John's is good, bro. Papa John's is hot sewage water. Nah, a little bit of racism make the food taste better. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that is true, but not in that context. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, okay, no, nah, I liked your top three. I liked your top three, and I like this. Specificity of it. Um, you got there. Uh, yeah, I got there. Um, <laughs> damn. Ooh, okay. If we're going to, because like in mine, because we never even talked about it in the last episode. I feel like we're going to talk about every episode. We never actually, I never actually gave my top three, which is. I don't think we're, we're, we're supposed to give We're not supposed to give our. You got to keep the people like, save it. Okay. people we like keep watching. ours for the actual potato episode. Okay, <laughs> we're going to save it. Save so we're it. asking every Yeah, guest. everybody else, we want to get there. You, you got to build up our, suspense. We're going to have a real potato expert on. Exactly. All right. We're we're gonna gonna Irish. Irish. They got Irish. <laughs> I guess vodka could be also a way to. Oh it. shit! That's, I don't know that's if anybody's that, but yeah. That's the one. That's, that's a good a one. one. Yeah, that's yeah. A good All right. One. Well, let's talk about what we're here to talk about. What 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 made you think to pick this one? Um, I am a D 
deeply existential motherfucker. Okay. Um, and last night I was out at dinner with some like some dear friends of mine, and like all this stuff lately has been making me think about like what's next and like death and the circle of life. I was hanging out with my friends of like 10 years and like which is not that big of a deal, but like when you're like when you met them when you're 14, now you're 24. It's like that's an insane amount of time. Um, and they they were like pitching me some like real softballs, like uh, top three things that you shouldn't do when you start dating someone. I was like, that's you know that's nice stuff like that. And I was like, when it's eight thirty at night, you're texting me like, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Hardball. I want to know like top three like uh, your premise on the afterlife, like top three potential afterlife. What's gonna happen? What's next? Because like. Heavy. I'm scared. Heavy to guys. drop on a stand up comic at an open mic. <laughs> 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 this nigga up on stage is like, whew. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a rough one. No, no, no. This is fun. I was actually no, this very is gonna excited. Be a good time. I was very interested uh, in that and how you got there. And that's that's wild. So you yeah. were just there and you're like, no, nah, I'm going to get, let's get real. Yeah. And I was like, I was at LACMO recently. Um, Los Angeles County Museum of Art. I think that's what it stands for. Um, and I was looking at all of this art and it just like, I, I finally understood art for the first time. And it just, there was this whole piece in like transcendental meditation and like, just like all kinds of scenes of like death and stuff. And I don't know, it got me, got me thinking. Got, we'll got, do that to you. It, it spiraled, it made me spiral for like a good week. And I think I'm ready to talk about it. See, look, look at this man. He's a genius, understands art. You know what I'm saying? Wow. 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 The layers. <laughs> the well, layers. Wow. You all just know him as the goofy motherfucker. He's who's like, like his father. Like, I mean, listen. Psych! Listen. The real man has layers. <laughs> I will okay. say this. You do have a very good talent of the 90s. In the 90s, it was all about physical comedy and slapstick. And yeah. if you can make falling upstairs funny, like, you know what I'm saying? Not many yeah. people can do that. Yeah. You know, Running through screen around, doors and through slipping doors. on banana peels yeah, and just constant getting shocked by shit. Didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I've, just, I've, I've done it all, man. <laughs> <laughs> you are a good um, uh, evolution of your father in the show. I think that's that's why it works so much. It's like uh, every son is like. No matter how much they think, it's like I'm not like my fucking dad. It's like yeah, yeah you are, yeah, but yeah. just like a little weirder or different. You know what I those mean? Those like, were yeah. like- those were always my favorite uh, parts of the show, both to act and to watch. Was that that moment of being like we're nothing like each other, and then you see like both yeah. of them getting really excited about like a cool stick that Luke found or something like that. All right, I have to talk about this real quick before we get into these topics okay. because I got <laughs> onto Modern Family very late. I yeah. was like, fuck this white cornbread ass shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not watching this. I don't. I don't. Oh, actually, what you, what I, I want you to finish this tangent, but I do have to ask before you get there. Is the first time you watch Modern Family while you were having sex with someone? Yeah, because that might have, that might have changed your opinion. Maybe you're not into Modern Family. Maybe it's just no, like how like, Logan you, dogs you. you. Like, you, like, you get turned on. Were you on. talking shorty from the back and like, like you know, in his eyes? Like, this thing is funny. <laughs> Listen, no, I started watching Modern Family at the beginning of the pandemic, okay? okay. And it was like, I have uh, my roommate introduced me to the show, and she was like, the show is funny. And during the pandemic, especially like the first year or two, you really couldn't do anything. You couldn't do much. Yeah. My social activity was going to people's houses, women's houses, and having sex. And nice. I was also watching Modern Family. And it was like, hey, I'm watch- I've been watching Modern Family. And they're like, oh, yeah, I love Water Family. I, I mean, I've been having- I was having sex with white women. And I um, <laughs> didn't have to say it. <laughs> it was implied. It was a safe assumption. And um, yeah, it, 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 would, it would happen. But I forgot what I was originally talking about before you asked me that question. Oh, okay, this is what it was. And I was like, holy shit, this show is funny. Like, I didn't, at the time, I was like a very television snob. Like, I'm not watching network shows. Like, okay, you're, you're, you're watching the stream. I'm watching HBO. I'm watching yeah. whatever. And uh, I was like, holy shit, the jokes per minute in the show is crazy. Like, I'm constantly laughing from beginning to end. I maybe don't like the sappier episodes as much, but then I started to come around. I'm a very cynical person. And uh, I love the show. And then I found out afterward that there were two writing rooms yeah. for this show. Yeah, yeah. I did not know that, that yeah. the, the co-creators disliked each other so much that they had two separate writer rooms and they would go back and forth on the episodes. 
Um, I'm not actually really sure the the logistics of it. Um, I was uh, a kid. You just got the script. You're I just like, got the I, I got the okay. script. Um, I showed up. I said my lines. Um, so wild. but That's we did. So wild to me. We did. Um, you know, I would say like, there's so much that goes on like behind the scenes of uh, of TV shows, and um, you know, I think Modern Family. Uh, despite having its own hiccups here and there, uh, was one of the most like harmonious sets possible, which is like, that's, there's a lot of caveats there that I'm <laughs> but, currently but, working but, but, in, that I'm currently working in therapy for, uh, um, <laughs> because like a safe film set is still like still, a film it's still, set yeah, it's for like a, a kid to grow up on. But yeah. like, um, but I mean, I'm sure part of that was because these two dudes were like, listen, we can't get along. So to make this work, we're just gonna have two completely separate writing rooms. Dan and his homie, wild. same it's way. It's wild. Oh, is that they're the same way? Ah, that's famously do not fuck with each other at all. Who is this? Uh, Dan Harmon and uh, Justin Roiland. Is that his name? Mm. Yeah, Justin Roiland. Um, after they both got rich, rich, they was like, I don't Chris like wrote, this. Chris wrote on a Dan Harmon show, crap. Out <laughs> yeah, he okay, would just cool. tell us stories about their uh, vendettas with each other, and it's funny, like. It's a, it's a complicated business. I can't yeah. wait to never speak to you guys again. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny because if yeah, they become great friends, they hate each other. Yeah. Yeah. That, that means wait. it's, it's going to be a great success. success. <laughs> that means it's going to be a huge success. Exactly. We're all going to be very rich. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. It always happens after motherfuckers catch the check. It's like, I hate this nigga, actually. <laughs> and it's like yeah. they're, they're, they always turn into um, divorced parents, which is like very... Uh, close to home and it's like you could just see it yeah. plays out exactly the same like they have to interact but they hate it that they have to do it every time yeah. where i was like y'all why can't everybody just be happy that the check cleared like yeah it's like we did something that's so hard to do yeah <laughs> like i would i would it. sell any of my best friends out for a single dollar <laughs> <laughs> and this man got money <laughs> <laughs> and they in a sea of dead friends to prove <laughs> a sea of dead friends <laughs> Speaking of dead, let's talk yeah. about these top three afterlife yeah, let's scenarios. Let's get it. Yeah, What's yeah. your number three? My number three is waking up and realizing it was all a simulation. Like Hell it was yeah. all oh, a getting simulation. unplugged from the a, matrix. Exactly. And being like that whole thing, there's there's who knows what could happen after that. Who knows what the rules of the universe are and what's what is what. So I think that would be cool to like wake up and be like, how was it? What and being like, whoa. What? Like yeah, a Twilight Zone type of episode. Yeah, it was. It was like, yeah, I don't know what to expect, but I just know that like it was all. A part what are of, you? What world are you unplugging into? I don't like, know. What happens? That's what's you, cool. That's what's that's cool. We'll that's the, what's cool to find out. Yeah, okay. yeah. So it's, it's a little bit um like that that episode of uh of Rick and Morty, which I think they really nail is the life of Roy. Yeah. When um I don't know if you guys watch, but like uh Morty goes into the machine and he plays a character named Roy, lives his entire life, and then like wakes up and is like wh- comes back to in the middle of like a, like yeah. Dave and Buster's wow. and yeah. falling like, down the stairs, Morty. <laughs> what, rough way to go out. <laughs> he went back to the carpet <laughs> store. Yeah, that was the um the video game, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, where it yeah. becomes self aware. Space Dave oh, and I'm like, was, Yeah, that would be yeah, I think that would be tight. By the way, your number three is my genuine belief of of what reality is. Oh, um, I, it's not. It doesn't crack my top three. Okay, but it is like I. That is actually I think yeah, what strong is real possibility. Is not what we want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I can I can okay, start with your what number? I want. What's your number three? Um, I want to be. I want this world that we're currently living in to be a dream, and when I wake up, I am something completely uh, not human. Like I like I'm like a bug or something. Like I'm a praying mantis that is asleep, and then I'm gonna like turn my you head three sixty. Incarnated into a bug? No, or? no. I was always a bug, and I'm just like ah. I'm just sleeping, or like I fell into like somebody's. You ate, you ate like some. You like, oh, so you're doing lots of mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, like yeah that. I found some mushrooms in the woods. Because animals be tripping. Like, animals yeah. trip too. So animals you're doing trip, the Wandavision. Um, your dreams are different. Uh, reality. I remember. Situation. I, I remember thinking I saw like a tweet like that was like imagine like this whole life is a dream and then you wake up and you're a lizard sunbathing on a rock and like um as you like start to like lick your own eyeballs and walk away like all memories of everything like of what like a podcast was was starts to fade because you have now no concept of that and I was like Ooh. I kind of like that that'd be tight yeah 
Well, my number three is reincarnation. reincarnation. Cool. Specifically the um the Buddhist version of it. Um uh you know, your deeds get you uh different slots in which you're reincarnated as. You know what I mean? If you do more good. So this is this is why it's number three. Because you get so many different options, right? You can go from a fly all the way up to uh no, I guess a demon would be below a fly. So demon, fly. God and in and nothing in between, <clears throat> a whole, the bunch in, whole bunch in between. <laughs> but it's funny that the uh, human is the most beneficial one because that gives you the most chance to find enlightenment or and find yeah find peace and and add the most um, uh, change to the world, whether positive or negative. Then you get to get pulled as a god, which is like tight because you have no worries, you chilling, you get god powers, you could do all that fucking fun shit. It's pretty sick. But you can also be a demon and have your life be pure. Yeah, there's a lot of pure variables. pain and torture there's and terribleness. You could be a fly, get stepped on as a fly. Or you could be, you a, can be a human <clears throat> and be broke and live in like a terrible situation. But even in that, you still have a chance to live a life worth depth. You know what I mean? Um, it's like... There's, so wait, there's heaven, in, in, man, in this earth scenario. Everyone gets reincarnated, and only deserving people get reincarnated. Everybody. That that's the thing. That's why it it's number three because it's tight. It gives you the most options. Mm. It's not a Christian thing of like if you if you repent at the last minute, you're good. Yeah. It's like your life, you lived it. Whatever you fucking did, you did that with, shit. So you get the outcome of what you did. If reincarnation was real, then I have this theory that like shitty people are just like. People who who got reincarnated that like died at, as a child or like got aborted. Just like salty. real shitty people are just like aborted babies. <laughs> they just don't <laughs> like, know any better. Yeah, they haven't gained that like. Uh, they haven't figured it out. Yeah, yeah. that that, uh, that they haven't gotten to an enlightenment through lives like long lives full of like experiences and yeah. they don't have that 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 wisdom in their soul. Problem that with that is everybody do. always goes one to two. The thing is like it's a billion to now. That's it's like I'm the saying. avatar, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like you've got mm. helly fucking lives. Hello. And that's the one that's why it's number three. Okay. Is because I for my whole list pick positive and negative. So cool. it's like the positives is you get all these different chances to do it. And you know, catch twenty two is some of them are very shitty, very and shitty. like they can add your negatives, but you get to work towards a goal of removing yourself from this fucking Ferris wheel. You know what I mean? Like you get to be like, I've reached enlightenment, and enlightenment is freedom from this ride because you just go back to being energy, which is you know a, a, a more poignant version of what an atheist believes of, and they're like. We are all the same stuff. Yeah. So you just go back to being a part of that stuff and having the freedom of like being outside of the game, which is why I was like, oh, this is most positives with the least amount of negatives, but also gives you a breadth of different experiences. Hmm. So yeah. that's why. That okay, was number <clears throat> well thought out and well said. Thank you. Sir. I just said, Thank I you. hoped it was a dream and I'm a bug. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I'm a writer. You're an actor. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm just 10 minutes writing on this little tablet. Yeah, yeah, First yeah, of all, bitch. Yeah, what, what like notes going <laughs> what? on there? All right, do we have any honorable mentions? We have any honorable mentions? Yes. Uh, Christianity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was having, having, honorable mention. Heaven seems cool yeah. but also shitty yeah. because i don't want my grandparents looking down at me i'm doing a lot of fucked up shit yeah. that's weird you man also your... heaven seems boring dude exactly. it seems boring as fuck it's gonna be super like, boring the people in heaven are gonna be ass it's like bro <laughs> i'm not trying to be fuck. in heaven and 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 like have somebody calling the cops on me because i'm barbecuing you know what i'm right. saying <laughs> like, bro that's not think that's about, not what i want fam think about the most <laughs> religious <laughs> people you know the most christian folks you've ever fucked them niggas is there oh good, yeah, dog. yeah. Think about the christian people that's from the 1600s fuck dog the 1700s oh the 1800s like yeah. all these christian bro it's like first of all first of all if they get in i don't want to go these niggas gotta get the fuck out of here put me in purgatory nigga because them <laughs> motherfuckers is in this bitch i don't want to be in there dog yeah. and also Hell, that's why, hell. That's why Christianity has to be an honorable mention because hell it's, sucks. Yeah. Eternal damnation yeah. forever, forever. You just gonna have niggas uh, fucking okay. with you for yeah. the rest One of the time. One of the ones I thought about was the 72 virgin situation. <laughs> 72 virgins. <laughs> 
But the problem is, I don't want no 72 versions. I'm trying to have 72 hoes. Like, I'm trying to have some hoes <laughs> that know what they're doing. Like, give me 72 of them, but don't make no version. Like, oh, man. Give, me about, give me about 72 uh, 72 girls that range between the age of like 25 and 55. You know what I'm saying? And they all love Modern Family. And they all love Modern Family. God. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. From all... From all, from all uh, areas of the world from I'm trying to fuck somebody from the 1600s. I'm trying to fuck somebody <laughs> from the 72 <laughs> virgins is so whack. It's OD. for no matter what you are though, like no matter what your sexual preference is, 72 virgins of the thing you want to have sex with is miserable. Why would you? It's want like, bro, I gotta teach 72 people. Fuck no, 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 that no, no, shit. No, no, no. It's also a lot of stories to keep straight. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you you that has to be a part of the deal is you don't have to lie. Everybody has to know what's up here, right? Like. Also, think about how many people there are. Like, uh, what, what did they get? Did, also, is that an L for them? Also, That's always been my question. Is like, did they fuck up to have about, to be the person that fucks this guy? This is like, the most misogynistic. <laughs> think about a woman <laughs> and 72 dude virgins. You getting 72 pumps? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm just saying. Quick, what, get 30 seconds. I literally, like, whatever you did, it's a negative, dude. And it's, it's negative. also, it's not a positive. how do you get that role? Who, like, like what? It, that feels also, like a negative to me, oh, to be yeah. the virgin. Yeah, you know, I'm trying real careful to, like, tread some ground here. Um, and, like, not get it, say anything that could be, like, used in a uh, yes. sound bite. Yes. But I am I am curious um, not to, uh, you know, make fun of anybody's religious beliefs. I don't even know how accurate those religious beliefs are. But I, I wonder, like, that where did... media training. <laughs> I wonder, <laughs> seriously, where these 72 people come from? Because this is a... Exactly. This is a ratio of, like, did they exist? Did they, like... If, if this is actually true, and this shows you how little I know about anything, um, where do they come from? Where do they come from? Yeah. It doesn't make any um, sense. I never, I never really looked into it. Yeah, that's a, I'm not a religious yeah. person in any type it of was, way. I am an agnostic, so... Uh, let I, me I, tell you what. Yeah. 72 motherfuckers from Idaho... Get that shit on. Give it to somebody else. I don't want it. Yeah, I, don't, <laughs> I don't want it. I don't, I don't want, want it. it. I feel like all our honorable mentions of like things we don't want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's what's another honorable mention? I'll go. So my honorable mention. Well, so this is the thing I'm most terrified of, like genuinely in life, is that I'm stuck in a death loop, and so that when I die, my life immediately starts over again. And I have this like realization that I've been doing this for eternity, but on this next on this yeah. next go round, I'm not going to remember, and so I'm going to have to make it till another eighty years, or and on the, honestly, the way this is going, another five years. <laughs> so, like, I can be like, wait, 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 I'm going to remember this time, and then I and I'm like, baby, and I forgot uh, everything, and I'll continue to make the same mistakes. I'll continue to not enjoy my time with the people that I should have, things wow. like that. Yeah, yeah, that's. That's a good one. So I hope I, mean, I hope wherever life, you're though, listening this to, life. if you're having a drive to work or something, <laughs> you know, just think about <laughs> that. <laughs> Makes you find peace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give my number two. My number two is wait, was your honorable mention? Oh, my honorable mention was the seventy-two version. Okay. Uh, my number two is you just dead, nigga. It's over. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. That's your number two. That's you don't it. exist That's anymore. Two. You don't have to deal with shit. <laughs> Game's over. Nigga, I'm dead. My my organs have stopped. Maybe my energy goes out into space or some shit, but I don't get shit else. Huh. I'm a star now. Do you want that to I'm be a, a thing? I'm dead, nigga. I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't what matter. I want. Okay. That's what I appreciate about it. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I believe. It's fucked up. It's very agnostic of you. I, it's fucked up. I'm not saying it's right, but as far as what I think of and how I can stay grounded in my life is when I'm dead, I, I don't exist anymore. That's, I mean, it's probably the most likely. Yeah. Yeah. And but I've accepted that. Heavy. So that's yeah. my number two. Okay. All right. My, num- my number two. Um, so I asked a Catholic friend of mine once uh, if I was going to hell, um, which is like, that's a fun thing that you can do with the people in your life. <laughs> Be like, oh, cool. I'm like one of your best friends. Well, do you think I'm going to exactly. hell? Exactly. Uh, I grew up super, super religious. So like, again, I, I try to be respectful, but I was just like, oh, I actually, I'm curious because like it's. I got a lot of like repressed like Christian guilt where I'm like, I still like, there's like a 50, 50 chance that I'm going to the bad place. Um, so I was like, do you think I'm going to hell? And she was, she was older. She was in her forties or fifties. And she was like, you know, I think that when we die, we have the wrong concept of it. I think that like we get to go join, like heaven is just like humanity's collective soul. 
She's like that we're all like part of like little parts of one big whole. And that when you die, if you were good, like just like net positive in your life, you get to go join along with everybody in this like collective soul goop floating somewhere in a fifth or sixth dimension. Um, and she was like, if you were bad, like really bad, you just don't, you, it's uh, hell is isolation that you don't get to be part of um, mm. everyone else. And I was like, you did drugs back in the day, huh? And she was, <laughs> and she was like, P- PCP was my favorite. <laughs> like, oh, straight, like actually, shit. and I was like, cause I was like, Short this is, because <laughs> I was like, like no. get wet. <laughs> I was like, what you're talking about is some like high concept yeah. shit here. And I always thought that I was like, oh, cool. Like I, I, I think the number one thing that I'm most interested in life is community. And so like if death is just joining everyone else, like <laughs> shout out Dan, <laughs> shout out Dan. Um, <laughs> that's why I'd like to join Dan Harmon. And <laughs> soul goop of heaven. Okay. I like that. Um, that's interesting. I've never heard. I like that. Yeah, that's a good one. Cause I believe in energy. So like I can see something like that happening. That's yeah. kind of similar to my number two. And it's funny cause um, one of my favorite books growing up was the Bartimus trilogies. Hmm. And it was like, um, Harry Potter mixed with like uh, uh, alchemy, I guess, because they, the wizards, they got their powers by summoning demons and making contracts with them. They called them demons, but the demons were just Badass. spirits from another plane, like you said, because Bartimus, the demon, like explains to this person, like what it's life, what it's like. He was like, you all call us demons, but we're just pissed off that you ripped us from peace. Like we yeah. have no form. We're just energy. We all co-mingle and we're different types of energies and we're just moving around. And then out of nowhere, you bring these fucking claws and snatch us into this bullshit and like make yeah. us do your bidding for you. You think we would fucking be happy about that? That's how you all get murked. And it's like, I was like, pretty valid. And my number two, kind of similar, is the Chinese idea of Buddhism. Or at least this is what I, I looked up in class. Because um, that's what I did in college. I was like, I don't really... My parents, again, very religious, um, but I've just always been like, I mean, who knows, dog? These are also just seem like stories that people just tell themselves to be comfortable with the chaos that is existence. But um, Mm -hmm. the concept is basically along those lines. If you are positive, you get to join in peace. Like it's like you get to come in like there's a. There's a God who looks at the door and he goes, you get to come in, man. He's a bouncer. He goes, you get to come in or you don't. <laughs> Your name's on the list. And then like, if you get to come in, it just means you get to be at peace. You, you got some girls with you? All right. Come <laughs> so, <on>. <laughs> <laughs> also, you like, you just get to chill out and you just have to fucking, you're over the stress of everything and you're just enjoying tranquility. And in oh. the negative, it's not even that crazy of a negative. If you fucking get rejected, you got to run this back and you just got to, mm. you get reincarnated yeah. and you have to go okay. back again. And play so, it again until you do enough to get in the club. What do, you, what do you think is enough to get in the club? I think it's a matter of, so there's the idea of man is the middle point of heaven and earth. So it's like the heaven is how you get your ideas and all the fucking thoughts and everything you have. And then you, as the middle point, are the rod, basically, that puts these ideas out into the earth. So however you go about putting those things in the earth is what your toll is. And the goal is to put more positive out there. And positive is how do you mitigate most pain for other people in your existence? You don't have to go be Mother Teresa. You don't have to fucking do all these things. But you just have to cause less harm then, in existence yeah. than you do good. And then that's you doing but, well but enough hold on, to get in. What if you cause a lot of harm, but you also cause a lot of good? Well, you're just a pure, what kind of, what pure kind chaotic, of, what kind of chaotic good. What kind of good, good? Yeah, kind of good are you talking of, about? Because I feel I like if you murk somebody, that's I feel like more the, negative. The negative in, if you surround yourself with negative people and negative energy, like negative things could happen to you. Yeah. And, and if you have a positive influence and a positive outlook on things and have positive energy, you know, good things will happen. And that's my belief in it, how I stay sane because your two, very different than my two. My two, I'm a cynic. And I just believe... I think man has to come up with something in his mind to keep the will to go on. Like mm. man wants to be more than what they are, which is just flesh and bones. And I think there is an energy and there is a spirit, but you know, in my mind, we aren't that important. Yeah. But there's also a reason you're agnostic, sir. It's because I don't there know. has to, but there yeah, also, I don't know it. Think about how insane it is to exist. That's yeah. just the first yeah. step. Just the very first step. Exactly. To be, to like just even 
be doing this. Yeah. And then start adding in all the layers of shit. We have a society. Look at these fucking microphones. They're fucking cameras. Like, think about all the other shit that is happening. It's impossible. The it's hubris absurd. would be for you to be like, oh, yeah, we just happen to be able to do that. What the yeah, fuck yeah. are you talking about? We used to be monkeys, bro. And now <laughs> we are here talking shit about which existences are the most. Yeah, like, yeah. There, there's just so much that it's like there has to be it kinda makes, an energy force like we're that matters. And, and, and as collective, a collective as society, we are changing and growing for the better because human beings used to be very shitty. The further back in yeah. the past you go, though, I mean, we're still shitty today, but collectively we're, yeah. we're more accepting. We're yeah, more we caring. don't. Most of us don't attack each other on sight instantly, yeah. which yeah. is like kind of impressive. Most of most of history is rape and pillage, exactly. But yeah. I, I, even still, even to live in that time is still. I I don't think people. I I used to say that I was uh, uh, optimistic nihilist because it's mm. like the the it, but i didn't really understand it and as i understand it now because i think if you really sat down and thought about how expansive the universe is it would make you not do anything because it's so daunting how much there is and the how you turn it to be optimistic is the gift that you have of being alive is insane yeah yeah. Like no matter how shitty your life is, and it's hard to say that to somebody who's really going through the shit. Yeah. Trust, believe. I'm a, I'm aware, but to even exist is such a fucking small minute chance yeah. of fucking happening. Especially to exist at a level like we exist, to be aware that we exist. Yeah. You think a fucking wildebeest is aware it exists? It goes. I'm not trying to get eaten by this yeah, motherfucker, yeah, yeah. and then I'm trying to eat and make more people. That's it. Yeah, like we have the fucking ability because we ate mushrooms or whatever, whatever you believe, <laughs> to be talking and understand and think. Yeah, and there is no way you can have that understanding of self with the chaos that is existence in the universe and not be like there is some greater force. Man's problem is trying to make it define what it is and make it be like it's just do with a beard. It's this guy. It's not just <laughs> yeah. You don't know what the fuck it is, but there is an energy. Yes, that has had to come energy, together to make force, existence. 100%. I yeah. believe that there are <clears throat> dimensions and planes and even experiences or things and energy that is happening on our planet that we can't see, that we can't understand. That's what I think ghosts are. We can't concept. And that's <laughs> why yes, I'm going to give you my number one <clears throat> afterlife scenarios. To be a motherfucking ghost, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Haunted niggas, Hell baby. Yeah. <laughs> so I like everybody out there Haunted to know niggas. that Leonard's number Try one me, nigga. I'm is coming for to you. be petty for eternity. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's, and that's what I was just about to say. That's yeah. what I was just yeah. about to say. So you're when not going to use it for good to like your, keep up with your friends and family. Are etern are eternity. It's like I have to be in heaven for eternity. I have to be with this collective energy for eternity. And it's like, fuck, I don't want that. I don't want to be anything for eternity, which is why my number two is bedead. But if I have to have an afterlife scenario and it has to be something for eternity, nigga, I'm haunting you. <laughs> so don't crazy. come for me. <laughs> but, the, but the thing is like anything for eternity when there is no semblance of self or like time it is, what does that matter? Nigga, that's like you sitting in your house and just like watching a, I'm a great NBA movie marathon forever. <laughs> <laughs> Some people it might be hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's purgatory. <laughs> what are you just, just watching? Just you're out, you're out. <laughs> I'm like, why does my television keep turning on to Modern Family, and why do I hear like ghost moans coming from the fucking corner? I think our house is on it. Modern Family is always on when we come home. Yeah, that's my per my my personal nightmare is that like I'm just trying to sleep, and like nine year old me keeps popping up. I'm like, no, no. But little do I know, Leonard's just having ghosts. Sex in a corner. <laughs> is the George Lopez the, the, the little meme? Well, I don't know what animated series where he wakes up and it's George Lopez playing. That's so funny. In the yeah, yeah. Oh, just bro, modern family the, every time. It, I thought it was um, I thought it was uh, your favorite animation. I thought it was uh, Bobby from um. Uh, no, it's not that. Where he goes. Oh no, that's um, it's a uh, Monsters it Inc. It's Monsters Inc. Oh, a little boy yep, like it's goes, Monsters Inc. Yep. Number one. What's your number one? Uh, number one is I don't die. <laughs> You're a vampire. <laughs> no, I think um, you know, 
I'm going to get incredibly like solipsistic for a moment. Okay. Like everything exists. Ooh, in, I like, don't know what that word. That's real genius shit right there. He y'all niggas with multiple syllables. <laughs> uh, somewhere there's like a fucking philosophy minor listening to this thing and be like, it's pronounced a certain stupid <laughs> I don't understand the concept. <laughs> it makes no sense, man. I like barely made it through community college. Um, but I took, I, yeah. So basically like statistically speaking, it looks like I'm going to die, but because I haven't done it yet, I can't prove that I'm not the one, like the only one person in this world who's real and not going to die. Like other people are dying around me, but like statistically, what if I'm the 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
True, that's your thing. But I think it's been skewed to look that way. I think during their times, it was like if you yeah, were any type of go? fighter, you would yeah, yeah anybody can go. All if like you samurais, fucking beat somebody, I, that's what I'm broadening it to be everybody's idea of honorable. Like you know what I mean? Like if you do anything, real quick, let me sign. Oh, up. No, I'm army saying army not quick. just I'm, my Valhalla is a different Valhalla than the fucking Viking one. I don't want to just be up there with a bunch of Norwegian um, motherfuckers, bro. That shit. Yeah, no, <laughs> like, no, what? We're good. A bunch of Yurgens <laughs> and Flurgens get fuck out of my Dude, face with that shit, uh, bro. Wait, are you are you probably are? What's that? Fucking, there's an anime. Is it called Ragnarok? Where yes, um, where the people fight against the gods. God, that is yes, it's a good so time. Sick. That's a good also time. a sick it's afterlife. Great. Yeah. yeah, it's um famous people throughout history fight famous gods. Oh, yeah, it's, it's for it's the like, fate of humanity. Very condensed See, tournament arc anime. For me, all yeah. of these scenarios are like human beings just want to be great. They just want to be yeah. more than I mean, and it is what we are is amazing. But it's like I don't think we're that special. You know. No. And I that's agree. the thing with me. I'm just a cynic, and um, I do love these scenarios. That last scenario is kind of cool. Um, we got to come up with a final three, our our three, our hard three for this episode. Top three afterlife scenarios. We've got. I was dreaming, and I was a lizard. Yeah, you know, yeah. wake up as an animal. Yeah, yeah. We got the. Oh shit! You get unplugged. It was a simulation, and then we had what was your three? Um, reincarnation. Reincarnation. The classic Buddhist. The classic. Version. <laughs> my With two, all the scales, my two was nigga, you just did. <laughs> Your worm food, it's over. Yes. There's nothing. Yeah, uh, mine was second was I joined a collective soul. Um, yes. with the rest of yes. everyone your energy gets clumped with this other energy yeah. and you're floating out in some other dimension in space or wherever. And then yours will your second energy one. piece or rebirth, which is kind of the same, kind of blending that in the rebirth. And the last we got ghosts, <laughs> ball holla. And then I don't the guy die. Never died. Yeah, I just I don't I don't want to have to I don't have to find out what's next. I'm scared. <laughs> Immortality, Valhalla, or being a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, those two are kind of similar. Yeah, Soccer, ghost or, ghost yeah. Immortality. You just don't have a form. Yeah. Um. So what what are we doing? What's three? What's two? What's one? I feel like rebirth is kind of consistent with uh, the 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 ideas. You know, what I mean, we can choose which specific re- in the death for loop is kind of the same thing, but you're being reincarnated as yourself. Like, um, I'm saying waking up as a lizard and like rebirth are kind of the same thing. Okay, yeah, and so is unplugging out of the matrix and being something else. Okay. Those are all yeah. technically it's the, all same the same thing. Idea. Yeah. Okay, yeah. it's like I'm starting so this thing over again. All right, so that's probably our three: the yeah. the rebirth, reincarnation. Not the same as the death loop, though. No, you. death no. loop is terrifying yeah, to me. Yeah. I don't want that. Death okay. loop is a curse. Yeah. I feel like yeah, that's that's I feel not like the death loop could be kind of tight because I like my life. So a much. death loop from one, like a death loop from beginning, is crazy. A yeah. death loop, like even like, because think about you go back to as a. Baby. I guess it's not actually that bad if you start if as a baby slowly, and like, you forget. If you remember and you have to start as a baby every time. Oh, my time, gosh. Like Groundhog Day woo, stuff. Yeah. That's all bad. Happy Death Day or like Groundhog Day, but start from baby. <laughs> no, I think that'd be great. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, that's a curse. I love that. Wow. Because then I could fix the mistake. I could I could do what I want. Or, or do you, or, or, or do you have free life? will and you just and you just keep getting, you like, you cannot stop, like, you oh, don't okay. actually have that, that much control. Yeah. That would, like, maybe, that maybe you can order a different yeah. size latte at Starbucks, but like. That's it. I'd be like, nigga, don't be afraid of the pussy. You don't don't is be it, scared. Is it always don't the same scared. players in life? That's the question I would have. Is it always going to be the she same? She actually likes you. <laughs> don't do it, my nigga. Don't listen. Don't listen to your brain. That's so funny. Oh my god, wait, that's actually terrifying. Is if you're like conscious, like you're um uh you're like that the uh voice in your head why am i spacing what it's called not a con uh, you're self-conscious. You're, you're self-conscious. You're self-conscious it's just you from the last life being like no 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 don't do it or like do it bro do it yes that's weird maybe well, that we is what's one. happening because that ha- and you sometimes in my head like i be I'm having like, deja vu like a motherfucker wow so like so uh, to the point that it's scary like i've done it Notably, at least six times in my life, where I'm like, Dejavu. I dreamt, I dreamt I, that exact thing happened. I yeah. and it this happened. Up, uh, I at, at a very, it's happened twice in my life when I was like eight or nine, and the other time I think I was like in my teens, where I had a very vivid dream of a past life. Well, I was like the point of view is this person. I was walking down this like 
cobblestone type stone path. Yeah. And I got a shield and a sword. And I just, all I was doing was walking along a countryside and there was like wooden stakes like of a fence next to a field. And that's all I remember. Question. Question. Did you watch Question. Lord of the Rings? That God night? damn it. <laughs> no. I was going to say, did you get high and watch Gladiator? No. <laughs> no, I was like eight years old. Yeah. I was like eight years old. Okay, and cool. that shit was crazy. And I was like, yeah. whoa. There's something to it, man. I and I think know. I saw a ghost too when I was like six, which was also crazy. So I don't know. I, there's something else. Something, something's afoot. Something That's happening. I'm and like right, so I'm trying to figure it out. We know we got three reincarnation. What's our two and what's our one? Um, two. We got Valhalla. We got ghosts. Valhalla. I think is Valhalla's like number one. one. Valhalla's number one, dude. That's number one, bro. So what's you, number two? Number two is the piece, man. You're just dead. <laughs> I know or you want to say that you fucking ghost. grumpy goober. <laughs> no, I feel like number two is what the frumpy ass the collective. Nigga. It's the, the, type, collective. The, the, the collective. The collective energy yeah, is energy the energy collective. Is yeah. the through line. You just line. get to go float around as goop, and like you don't really care because you're just like you're part of it. I would like you to blend our two cycle. together. Sure. Yeah. I would like to be like you're either collective goop or you just got to run it back again. Yeah, until like, you figure it yeah. out enough to be uh, harmoniously so enough to join yeah. the collective. Okay. So I we like got that. Valhalla number 1 goop as number 2 <laughs> and 3 is <laughs> just reincarnation. <laughs> cool. That's a good one. Wow. That's a fun one. Somewhere <laughs> somewhere like, like said just died. Hopefully no, some, dude. <laughs> that's hopefully not top 3. Hopefully somebody <laughs> It's <laughs> over. I don't have to do with shit anymore. Bro. Hopefully Fuck somebody taxes. somebody listening to this is like the most stoned that they've ever been, and we're just gaslighting them, and they're like, <laughs> "Get out of my head!" <laughs> you know what? This is the range you can expect on top three. Yeah, God damn it! Not only potatoes, are we funny, and we talk dead. about potatoes, we get heavy in this motherfucker, boy. Uh, <laughs> thanks, thanks, for, thanks for going there with me, guys. Colin, where can the people find you? Ah, uh, uh, um, you want my address? Uh, <laughs> I live in studios. No. Uh, I'm uh, Instagram at Nolan Gould. Uh, I had a Twitter at some point in time. See them thirst traps, um, baby. Yeah, it's, shirtless, it's, drilling. Jack, yeah, you can, you can see me slow mo jackhammering. Um, if that's your thing, shirtless. I don't know. Um, yeah, Instagram's Instagram's the place. Yeah. That's yeah, right, cool. That's, that's, that's pretty much me. Same, yeah. same, you same. You can if you swipe enough on Tinder, maybe you can find me. <laughs> you got a ride? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm on that. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, nigga, you ain't on Tinder. <laughs> uh, well, that's it. Yeah, it's been top three. The ads are on the page. Top three. Deuces. Hi guys, that was, was fun. fun, man.